Rocket Models. Today we're going to do a painting tutorial on Shadow Creation's new re-release of Dracula, Prince of Darkness, formerly produced by Ex Facto by the late John Tucky, brought back to life through Shadow Creations and Jeff Yeager. So let's take a look at the beauty real quick before we talk about what I did to bring him back to life. As you can see, just uh, Jeff has done a beautiful job with this. Just kind of spinning around a little bit so you can see what you get. This is a beautiful 1 6 scale and currently available. Spin it back around here. This here is the original head that came with the kit. We have now added an additional sculpted head by Mr. Jeff Yeager. Gotta love live cameras. And there it is. That's the new head of Dracula, Prince of Darkness. So there it is, guys. I'll put information at the end of the video. Right now, though, we're going to start off and talk about what I did to bring them to life. Are you ready? Well, let's go. I primed the complete kit with Automotive Gray Primer by Rust-Oleum. I decided to start with the base. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the base. I base coated the ice areas using Badger Freak Flex Banshee's Shadow Gray. The water areas were base coated using Freak Flex Arterial Blue. And the base using Sergeant Ivory Black. That way I had my base colors in ice, water, and of course uh, the cape part on the base. I then came back in and I highlighted the waves using Freak Flex Asphyxia Blue. And I shaded the water using Garage US Transparent Medium Green. That way we had kind of a murky blue-green water. The ice areas were shaded using Garage US Transparent Payne's Gray. That way, Payne's Gray is one of the best colors to shade uh, white with. I just, uh, just it's something about it. And that actually accents the detail Jeff has sculpted into the ice. I then came back in and I added more highlights to the waves, the caps, if you will, using Freak Flex Turn Ghost White. And the cape, I uh, highlighted using the Freak Flex Near Black. Now for the ice. It was base coated using the Freak Flex Banshee Shadow Gray and highlighted using the Freak Flex Arterial Blue and Asphyxia Blue. I then highlighted the cap areas of the ice using the Turn Ghost White and of course shaded using the Medium Green. And I added a little more of a touch and I pulled up some Comarts Transparent Royal Blue. That way it has a hint of blue and all the other colors are there. Of course, Transparence enables you to just Add some depth, yet keep your original color. And again, it, and that's your process, going back and forth, adding back to highlights, shading, uh, original color shading. It's a process of pulling that all together. I then decided to add further highlights to the ice, so I pulled out some Delta Serene Coat Antique White and simply dry brushed all the uh, raised areas. And believe it or not, the base was done. On to Dracula. I base coated the body using Freak Flex Body Bag Black. The inside of the cape was base coated using Freak Flex Ripper Red. The shirt was base coated using Freak Flex Banshee's Gray. I like the Banshee's Gray because it's it's a light gray. It's used for gray shadowing, but it also uh, comes across as a white, which you can add further highlights with actual white. I then uh, moved over to the base plate. I uh, base coated that using Freak Flex Body Bake Black. Uh, the buttons were painted using Anita's Metallic Black. Again, that's a different hue of black which stands out. So you have some different hues going on your black. Now the suit was highlighted using Freak Flex Nair Black. I then uh, shaded the inside of the cape using Freak Flex Red Tint. I rediscovered or actually discovered these. Uh, Freak Flex Transparents, they call them tints. I bought the complete set. And I'm here to tell you today, these are awesome. Give them a check out. Give them a look and you won't be sorry. Then I came back in and highlighted the suit area using the Freak Flex Near Black. Now, what I talked about earlier with that gray, at this point, I came back in with the shirt and highlighted it using the Turn Ghost White. And then, of course, you can do some shading with the Transparent Panes Gray. I then shaded the cape uh, using Comart 
transparent raw blue. That way it gives it a tint of the black, the blue, and it just kind of uh, is actually a nice striking appearance once you dull coat it. And believe it or not, the body was done. Now back to the nameplate. I used the following colors. The face of the plate was used done using Freak Flex Arterial Blue, Freak Flex Hammer Horror Red, no pun intended, Hammer, was used for the top of the lettering, and Freak Flex Sunburn Red was used for the lower area of the lettering. Then I pulled out that metallic black and used that for the edgings of the nameplate. And believe it or not, we're going to move on to the heads. With this one, there's two heads, and that's better than one. I base coated both heads using Model Color Basic Skin Tone. I then came and highlighted the face and hands with Reaper Suntan Flesh and shaded it using the Reaper Suntan Shadow. And also did some more shading using the Graduous Transparent Mars Red. Now with the Mars Red, you want to just hit, hit it lightly, like below the eyes, top of the nose. I always like to put it in the cheeks area. And a little bit in the forehead. Don't get over crazy though, then it really is going to stand out for you. But you can always come back and just uh, use some uh, shading and original colors to lighten up some of that uh, starkness of the transparent Mars red. At this point, I painted in the eyes, again with the Freak Flex Banshee Shadow Gray, and the hair and eyebrows using the Freak Flex Body Bag Black. Time to finish off the faces. I painted in the teeth with the Banshee Shadow Gray. Body Baked Black was used to paint in the eyes. Freak Flex Pink Eye Burgundy was used for the lower eyelid area. And at this point, I came back in with the basic skin tone and tan shadow for more highlights and more shading using the transparent Mars Red. Now, I pulled on another uh, favorite color of mine from Model Colors. It's the Rosa Maroon. I used that on the fingernails. And at this time, I uh, did the ring and base coated that using the body bag black. Time to finish this bad boy up. I mixed Freak Flex Road Rash Brown and Banshee's Shadow Gray, and I added in the eye color. And body bag black was used for the pupils. At this point, I lightly dry brushed the lips using the Rosa Maroon. The ring band was painted using Freak Flex Silver Bullet and Freak Flex Sunburn Red for the stone on the ring. I accented the veining on the hands using blue pastels. And that way you have the veining in there and you can uh, mist over that um, skin area, over that pastel with uh, some flesh or a wash or, you know, kind of tie it all together. And it really balances everything out. And believe it or not, the kit was done. And that's what I did to bring this beautiful kit with two heads back to life. So if you're interested in this kit, you can reach out to me at shadowcreations, with a K, at gmail.com to get on the list. Currently, we have about, I think there's 12 more to fulfill from the previous list, and then we'll be popping all new ones. So if you're interested, hit me up and get on the list for this beautiful re-release. And now's your chance to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, why not? You just hit that subscribe button, not the one over my shoulder, but the one in the video, the body of the video where it says subscribe and you're part of the Talking Models family. And I would greatly appreciate it. We're on a quest for a thousand subscribers. Praying and hoping you'll be one of those. So that's all we have today for this episode on Talking Models of the painting tutorial for Dracula, Prince of Darkness. So I hope that everybody is having a great day. I hope that you are enjoying the gift of life that it is. And I just pray that you continue to support the channel, the hobby, the producers, and paint some model kits. So again, thanks for stopping in. And as always, may the Lord bless your day.